find it, maybe I'm a little bit biased, but I find it more pleasing to listen to Taiwanese Mandarin than uh, her. They are allowed to, uh, you'll get orgasm. <laughs> You'll get organized just by listening to the local girls peacefully protest and demonstrate in Taiwan, which is not true in China. And thank you for watching Jason Adam TV on YouTube. If you haven't, please click subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and leave some comments in the comment section below. Okay, today I am going to listen to a song by Namewee and uh, it's about Taiwan. I will be giving commentary on this song. Yeah, it's interesting that, that Namewee is actually from Malaysia and he is giving commentary on living in Taiwan. In this video, Namewee is highlighting the fact that uh, art forms can be used as uh, commentary on political situations worldwide. And oftentimes, arts and entertainment have been used to give commentary on different countries and different political situations. Blowing in the wind? Oh, Bob Dylan, yes. Yeah. Blowing in the wind. He won the Nobel yeah. Prize. Arts and entertainment are a, a very effective tool in bringing about change in society and in politics. Okay, so uh, today we're going to play through the song and I'm going to give my commentary on this song by Namewee. So the title of the song is Ghost Island. <laughs> This is a really interesting video. It's, it's got kind of like a, a Aboriginal a native vibe to it. Also, I noticed in the video they use Narawan, which is greeting in Taiwanese Aboriginal language. It also reminds me a bit of Native American music. I don't think the Native Americans are related to Taiwanese Aboriginals, but the music kind of reminded me of that. Okay, so now I'm going to play through the video and I'm going to comment line by line. This video has a lot of words, and uh, it goes rather rapid to keep up. Okay, welcome to Ghost Island. 
a small island in the Pacific Ocean. So they're referring to Taiwan here. I think it's called Ghost Island because of its precarious uh, legal status, uh, international legal status. Only 15 countries and territories currently officially recognize Taiwan, or the Republic of China, which is the official name of Taiwan, as a country. The other nations still have ties with Taiwan, but they don't officially recognize it as an independent country. Welcome to Ghost Island, a small island with blue sky and greenery. That's very true. There are many beautiful spots in Taiwan outside the major cities, like in the mountains and the coastal areas where you can see beautiful sights and nature. There's a small island to the south of Japan with a population of 23 million. Again, they're referring to Taiwan, or the official name is the Republic of China, is south of Japan and has about 23 million people. Some people speak Minnan. Some people living in the mountain. Most of the aboriginal villages are located in the central mountain region of Taiwan. Mandarin and other Chinese words came from the other side. In this case, they're referring to China. The majority of Taiwanese today are Han Chinese. They, uh, their ancestors migrated from China over the years. Uh, you'll get orgasm. <laughs> You'll get organ just by listening to the local girls. I guess he's trying to say that the Taiwanese Chinese accent is sexy. And I do find it, maybe I'm a little bit biased, but I find it more pleasing to listen to Taiwanese Mandarin than uh, her. There, there's a, a strong accent, and I, I guess they consider Taiwanese to have strong accent, a strong accent too, but the Taiwanese don't have the er sound in their dialect as much as Chinese people do. I do prefer the Taiwanese accent. They have no discipline, they have demonstration every week. This is referring to the messiness of democracy and the fact that the people have the right to seek redress from their government uh, if they have issues, if they have problems with their government. They are allowed to peacefully protest and demonstrate in Taiwan, which is not true in China. Okay, he goes on to say it's insane that they don't have censorship for what they say on the internet. And yes, in a lot of ways, I think Taiwan's internet is even freer than internet in America, because in America, your ISPs have to monitor you for, you know, possible violations of copyright laws and things like that. So the ISPs, from my experience in America, are stricter than, than the ISPs in Taiwan. And in Taiwan, I can access information on any sensitive topic that I choose. And I have never been censored on the internet in Taiwan. So he's saying this is insane, the idea that people have freedom on the internet in Taiwan. But uh, he's saying this in a sarcastic way. 